hello friends welcome you all so today in this video uh, we will have a discussion for polymorphism so i will try to clarify the oop concept that is a polymorphism is a oop concept so let's let's work on that and see what actually polymorphism mean so let us understand first poly morph I already have created a class naming polymorphism and I am writing this thing in a main method. Okay, let's do one thing first. Let's delete this here and I will show you one important thing here today. Let's type main M A I N and if I press control and space bar then I'll get main and if I do enter over here see how we got the main mapper. This is a shortcut way to <coughs> uh, to create a main ma main method in your class level. So next thing is that we wanted to discuss about poly morphism. So what is polymorphism? Polymorphism means uh, multiple forms. Okay. So multiple forms. What do, what does mean that multiple forms in our coding? It means that it, it here it relates to the methods that uh, multiple methods with the same name. Uh, multiple methods with the same name. So now questions come. Oh, multiple methods but having same name. Then how does it how it will work? Because method name should be uh, different, right? If we want to execute the coding, method name should be different. But how it will work? The, so guys, it will work, and it is the it is that's why it is called the polymorphism concept in uh, Java. Let's see how it will work. Uh, now let's go out of this main method, and here I just want to create a, mm, a method that is public void. Uh, let's say public static void. Static void. Uh, let's say test. I wanna. I have a test method and it has a uh, like uh, parenthesis and the body. So it's like a uh, uh, basically non-abstract method, right? So because it has a body. And uh, let's say in the body, I want this method to print out. Uh, I am test one okay I am test one fine so let's say I want to have five different method with the same name as test so how to do that let's select it here and uh, control alt uh, plus down arrow control alt plus down arrow control alt, alt plus down arrow five times I did like that so now I have five method with the name as test but you see here we can see the errors why these errors coming because the all the methods have same name same body everything same so let's see if what happened if we change the body let's say I'm just doing here test 2 here test 3 here test 4 and here test 5 oops there is still no change is uh, is still showing you the error over here in the uh, lines like number 10 9 13 9 16 9 19 and line 22 so what change do we need to do so uh, can we change the uh, change here see if i do test one here if i change the name so uh, the error gone but that's not our uh, fulfilling our requirement of uh, polymorphism we need to change something else what do we need to change there is option that we can do some changes in this section here if we will change the uh, uh, something in this section then only we can have uh, the uh, we can get rid of these errors let's say how and like uh, what is the main thing that uh, we can do over here so uh, the thing that we can do here is so guys to fulfill our requirement uh, the main thing is that we need to put some argument here in these sections so how can we do that let's say i am uh, here uh, one method i want to keep without any argument and in this uh, over here in this test uh, i want to put argument as int a so 
uh, when, you, did you see that when I put argument as int a here, the error has gone. And let's say in second one, again I want to put the same argument int a. But still, error is there. What does that mean? It means that, look, here and here, uh, that one have no argument and one have argument. Then the error went away last time. But now, if we want to, like, uh, change uh, here something, then what we need to do, we need to put, uh, either we can put one more argument or we can change the argument type. So let's say, uh, first I want to do, I uh, want to put one more argument. Like, I want to change the number of arguments that we put in. Like, I say, I, I want to put int b here. So uh, now you see that both of these methods have no error now. And now let's go to this method test. And in this argument, I want to put uh, uh, int a again. And uh, then what happens? Then either uh, the, this error come uh, back again. So let's say now in the second argument here, I just don't want to give the same data type. I, I want to put like a string. And that string is like, okay, let's say that it is s now so you can see that error has gone from the three methods now one method left why and it's showing error here and error here why because these two methods have the same name now we need to change uh, uh, the argument here uh, how can we do that like okay here we have one argument as int we can have one argument uh, as string two like a string s here so you see all the errors has gone now these all these five methods have the same name as test, 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 test. But they have different arguments. Here, what's, uh, the first method is uh, having no argument. Second method has one argument, an integer. Uh, third method has two arguments, uh, two integers. And the uh, fourth method has one argument as integer a and another one as string s. And the last method has string s. So likewise, we can have multiple methods and we can give three arguments, four arguments, depending on our requirement. So that's the basic uh, phenomena that we can follow for uh, getting the concept of polymorphism and uh, guys because here we are using the same name so we call this kind of uh, uh, you know mul using multiple uh, methods with the same name we call this overloading this is uh, we simply can say that it is a method overloading over here so this is the polymorphism concept that method loading uh, method overloading comes under polymorphism okay guys so now uh, let's save the code and execute it and see if it is uh, like showing us something it's not running over here it's not showing us anything why it's not showing us anything because because uh, we we have to call all these method in main method only then only it will run okay let's see how can we call let's say i'm just calling test and uh, uh, this like this just just this is a simple representation to call a method here we not creating any object that object creating and other uh, function how to call a method in main method uh, i will be uh, i'll discuss in another video not in this one here i'm just simply i want to tell that how to call a method in main method just i said test and a parenthesis simply so because the, this method is also static and other methods are also also static that's why we simply can call this by the name of the method and now what I want, I want to call this method. So then how to call this method? Let's first save it and execute what the test, uh, first test method will give. So uh, you can see in console that it's giving I am test one. So it's executing this method, uh, this test method and executing this line over here. So, uh, okay, that's good. Our method, our coding is working here now. Let's say I want to, uh, I want to print uh, I am test two. How to do that? So I need to call the test method here and I need to, what do I need to uh, do? Let's uh, save it and execute it. What the what will be the result? So it's giving me, I am test one, I am test one two times. It means it is running this first method two times. But what should I do if I get, I, uh, so that I can get I am test two? I need to put the parameters in this method. Here, because uh, here it is called argument, but here I need to put some value. And when I will, I need to put some value, then it is called the parameterization let's say i am putting one i can put anything any integer i, I can put any integer that will work over here um, but just for the sake of like easiness i'm just putting one and now save the code and execute it 
So you see now it's executing the second method. The same way if we will be changing the arguments in different parameters he over here then it will be executing one by one all the methods let's say i want to execute all the five methods how to do that so how this third method is separated it has two arguments so we can just simply can say one comma two or one comma one anything we can do, uh, do uh, any parameterization uh, we can do in the form of integer in our uh, uh, method test as third method okay and then uh, in the fourth method fourth test method has uh, one argument integer and another as string so let's parameterize it over here and uh, one we have uh, first uh, we just giving integer one and second we have to give one string uh, let's say if I uh, yeah I, we need to put the string here and let's say I'm just giving string here just putting string now we can write anything as a string we can give anything okay and in fifth method uh, the test just have one argument that is a string okay let's say it has a string and I'm just putting string here string okay so let's save the code and execute it how to how it will work so you can see in console that is it is giving us test one I am test one I am test two I am test three I am test four I am test five it means it is executing each and every individual methods is there any other way to call the methods like that yeah there is one other another way instead of calling here instead of calling here in the main method if I do put these two methods let's say control X from here and I put the methods here is it like possible for for the method to run from here yeah it is possible let's save it and execute it so you can see you can see it can execute from there also because what we are doing we are calling the test method first that's why it will run here like this okay let's see next one more thing just control X from here and put it here uh, like uh, first we are calling test uh, with the uh, argument uh, integer and uh, uh, string and then uh, fifth method we calling here and again at last we are calling first method let's see how the result will come here save it and execute it so you see the fourth method will run first because we are calling the fourth method you can see here this this method executed first then fifth method because here is the like test one with the one argument as a string so mm, the fifth method get run, executed and then again test one test two test three that we come back here in test method and here we have test method will get execute first and then test one and then test two will get executed so th this thus how we can use uh, different kind of uh, different kind of arguments in our uh, methods and that's why uh, uh, that's how we can have same name of methods uh, and uh, we can uh, uh, understand the ma uh, method overloading in polymorphism so guys I think it's uh, like a very simple and easy explanation for polymorphism and method overloading concept thank you very much for watching please do uh, like share and subscribe